has no wonderful place up on top of the world where it's chilly and icy and frosty and cold. Live a pack of pals, the best of friends, with adventures and tales that never ever end. Wampus World, wonderful, whimsical, wonderful. The zig and zag, they skid and they race, zooming and rooming all over the place. Zip off to the igloo, see who lives there. Hey, it's Tickwack, the sly polar bear. Scoot over the hill and go around the bend to meet Zika and Tuck, our snow hair friends. Slide a bit further and take a quick look. It's me, Wampa the Walrus, in my cozy nook. Wampa's world, wonderful, whimsical, wampaful, wackily, wintry, a wonderful Wampa's world. Well, hello there. I'm Wampa the Walrus, and today I want to try a little experiment. All right, everybody, look over there. <laughs> See a purple moose? Nope. Well, me neither. Now, everybody, look over there. See a polka-dotted sea otter? Nope. Well, me neither. <laughs> so by now, you're thinking, hey, we're not going to see any of the funny critters Wampa the Walrus mentions, are we? Well, that's what happened when Tigwax started to make up stories about things he'd seen out on the tundra. Tigwack was having his usual lazy day. Oh, that was a lovely day. I slept all night, got up, had a snack, <laughs> went back to bed for a little nappy, then had lunch, snoozed the afternoon away, <laughs> and I bet everyone else Wasted their day. <laughs> I think I'll go and find out before going back to bed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hello, my fine snow hair pelly wellies. Don't you look all pooped out? <laughs> <sighs> we spent all day hopping around. Yeah. Gathering, like in digging, mm -hmm. scratching. Oh, plus, we saw a pod of whales. Very exciting. Whales? Oh, I love seeing whales. Hey, hey, guys, guess what we did today? We found a new ice field. Perfect for racing. We raced all day, and then right near the end, a big flock of snow geese flew over. Oh, snow geese. I love seeing snow geese. Wow, we all had great days. So, uh, what'd you do today, Tigwack? Uh, I, uh, uh, oh, I did a, a whole bunch of cleaning and tidying around in my igloo. Uh, well, then I invented a, um, pillow fluffer. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, 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 oh, found some new colored rocks in my garden. Wow, so much in one day? Yeah, and then I saw a whole herd of caribou. A whole herd? A humongous herd. Scads and scads of caribou. Scads of caribou? Yeah, and they were, uh, oh, the rare blue ones, too. Uh, right over by, uh, 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 Wumpa's place. Oh. I didn't know there even were blue caribous. Wow! Tiguac had the best day of all of us. Oh, it was nothing. <laughs> well, uh, ta-ta. I'm off to more exciting things. <laughs> Goodbye! Bye, Bye Tiguac! Bye. They believed me. I'm going to tell them an even better story tomorrow. Blue caribou. Let's go see if they're still there. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't see any blue caribou. Or regular ones either. Mm -mm. Maybe they moved on. Wampa, did you see where all the blue caribou went? Blue caribou? Tigwax said he saw a whole bunch over here. Uh, blue caribou? Yep. Blue as a frozen toe. Blue caribou. Huh, I've never heard of that. 
Tigwax said he saw them. Well, then there must have been a bunch of blue caribou here. Oh, boy, sorry I missed them. Well, maybe we'll see them next time. Oh, I hope so, huh? Well, Tigwax was so happy with how everyone believed his made-up adventure, he spent the next afternoon making up an even better one. <laughs> okay, so after I saw a bunch of arctic jellyfish... <laughs> Ah, I'll tell everyone I happened upon a pair of musk oxen. <laughs> oh, musk oxen are those great big hairy critters with pointy horns. You almost never see them around here. Wow, musk oxen around here? Who'd have thunk it? But they were there. Right over by the Anukshuk. Tigwak has much more exciting days than we do. All we saw today was a feather from a ptarmigan. Well, at least it was a pretty big feather. Mm, oh, well, uh, better luck next time. Uh, Ta-ta. Uh, but... Uh, maybe the musk oxen are still there. Let's go see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go. Well, once again, everyone hurried off to see the wonderful things Tigwak had told them about. But found nothing. No musk oxen. Or even any muss. And not even any tracks. And it hasn't snowed since Tigwak said he saw them. Huh. You know what? I think Tigwak was making it up. There weren't any musk oxen here. Just like how there weren't any blue caribou yesterday. And there probably weren't any jellyfish. Huh. Tigwak wasn't telling the truth. I don't like that. Not one bit. Hmm. I'm never going to believe Tigwak again. Me neither. Yep. Everyone was upset with Tigwak. Now, it's fine to tell stories about make-believe things as long as everyone knows it's a make-believe story. But Tigwak wanted everyone to think his adventures had really happened. Oh, and they didn't like that one bit. Hmm. Meanwhile, Tigwak was thinking about what wild story he was going to tell the others this time. Let's see. I made up the story about seeing some blue caribou <laughs> and the arctic jellyfish <laughs> and the musk oxen. What can I pretend I've seen today? A bunch of polar bears riding unicycles. <laughs> nah, too goofy. A whale on a surfboard! Not believable enough. Maybe I could say... Hey, Flynn! 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 Hey, Flyn
the little snow hares, and Zig and Zag, the ski boggins. And me, of course, Tiguac, the polar bear. <gasps> Tiguac! Who? The, the one who likes to tell <laughs> lies! What? We've heard about you! Yeah, you make up wild stories about seeing things on the tundra, and you fool your friends into believing you. Well, you won't fool us. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> it's this way. Come on, no, Flynn. Wait, it's this... No, Flynn, Flynn, it's this way. Oh, nobody believes me anymore. That's what I get for lying. Oh. Hey! Okay. One last chance. Where are those great big snow hares? I don't see anything. They were just, uh, I was talking to, uh, uh, oh, what's the use? You think I'm fibbing because I was fibbing about the other stuff. So you admit it. Well, yes, I was a liar, liar, paws on fire, me. <laughs> you can come out now. <laughs> oh, wait, there they are, the big snow hares. See, see? Yes, we see them. We asked them to come up here. They're Flynn and Flan, our cousins from down south. What? We wanted to teach you a lesson. We knew you'd be so excited about seeing Flynn and Flan, you'd come and tell us. And none of us would believe you. And you'd feel bad. So now you've learned your lesson, Tigwack. Oh, yep. I promise to tell the truth from now on. Except when it's about where somebody's birthday present is hidden, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> It's time to go home. I believe it's that way. Oh, no, I believe it's that way. Oh, I think you're right. Oh, I think you're right, too. Okay. <laughs> wow! Okay, come on this way. Okay, that way. So, what is it with snow hares anyway? Yep, so Tigwack learned it's not good to lie, because then nobody believes you even when you tell the truth. <laughs> now, I never lied to you, have I? No. So, you believe me when I say... That's the end of my story. Ha 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 ha! Bye bye! <sighs> well, that's my story. There is no more. I could tell it again, though you've heard it before. But remember when and what happened then? My favorite bit. But oh, that's it. Whimsical, wonderful, wintry, wumpaful, wonderful, wumpa's world, a wumpa, wonderful. So I'll say goodbye, adios and adieu, until my next story, just for you. A wonderful, wumpa's world, whimsical, wonderful, wintry, wumpaful, wonderful, wumpa's world.